I love to cook. It's my way of relaxing and escaping technology. And Father Christmas bought me this rather fine German chef's knife. It's a work of art. I also got a 100 millimeter macro lens for my Nikon Z system. And there's more, a very fine LED light for my, for my collection. I love LED lights and this one, you can change the color on it, RGB, it's fantastic. Now over Christmas, between Christmas and the new year, not much going on, we're in lockdown again, so you probably know what's coming next. What I see on social media are thousands of brand videos from coffee beans to cars, people making speculative videos to maybe pitch to try and get client work with. Hey, what are you doing here? Hey, oh, we've got a guest presenter. No? Okay. All right, go away then. These videos showcase people's skills. They're packed with slow motion, in-camera transitions, trendy effects and editing techniques. The problem is very few people are making these videos to impress clients. They're making them to showcase their skills and impress their peers. That's a mistake. Clients don't care about the techniques that you know or the camera gear that you've got. All they want to know is that you can create something for them that best showcases and highlights their product or service so they can sell more of it. That's it. It's not about you. It's about what you can do for them. And there is a big difference. Now I'm going to be diving deeper into this and making videos talking about the business side of being a creator, a photographer, filmmaker over the coming months. So if you haven't subscribed, you better do it now. Another really important point is any video that you're gonna show a potential client, it has to be perfect. The product needs to be perfect. And what I mean is, for example, with this, uh, something like this knife, there can't be any smudges on the blade or any dust. And when you're, when you're zooming in with something like a macro lens, you're really going close, you see all of those blemishes and all the dust spots and everything. You can't, you can't do that. It's got to be perfect. The video that I made, if you go back and rewatch it, there's, there's a dust spot on the handle and the blade is a bit smudgy. I wouldn't show this to a client. I wouldn't put it on my business website. I'd go and do it again. It's got to be perfect. This whole idea of make a hundred crappy videos and eventually you'll get better and you know, it's nonsense. It's okay if you're you know, building a website and you're not targeting clients and you're not looking to become a professional videographer, filmmaker, but if you're pitching clients, everything that you do has got to be as perfect as possible. Certainly any products shown have got to be immaculate. So if I wanted to pitch this video that I've shown you today, I'd go and remake it. It's not good enough. The purpose of this video that I made was to practice, to experiment, to try new things and have a little bit of fun with my new toys. The best musicians in the world, the top athletes, no matter how good they are, they're constantly training, practicing and the same applies to photography and video production too. You've got to keep practicing and trying and pushing yourselves. If you're new to this channel, I'm a commercial photographer. I've been doing this for more years than I care to remember or admit. And for quite a few years now, I've been making video content for brands, particularly for social media. 
That's a growing market, it's very competitive, so if I don't practice every week, that really bothers me. I'm constantly trying new things and pushing myself further, but you'll rarely see it. So to recap, make videos to impress potential clients, not to impress your peers. They do not matter. They're not gonna be paying your bills. And the videos that you do pitch clients, make sure they're as perfect as they possibly can be, or at least you've done your very best, put your very best efforts into creating the videos. If you've made a video and when you review it, you realize there are maybe one or two things that you could have improved on, don't make excuses. Redo that video, make it better. Who uses the catchphrase, be the best that you can be? I don't know, somebody, but they're right. Be the best that you can be.